In this fish bite, we'll be looking at how to make triggers in Hammer and use them in game. As you can see, I have the default project loaded up. Let's start by making a new class. I'll call it my trigger. Now, what this is going to use is editor and also system.componentmodel.data annotations. Let's change this class to a public parcel which derives from base trigger. Let's add our empty constructor and we'll be adding the hammer entity attribute. We can give some info about our trigger. Let's start with a name, a group and a description. For now we're just going to get our trigger to respond the player. To check if an entity touched our trigger, we're going to use the start touch method. We'll have to override it. Now let's make sure to run this only on the server. And let's run this only if the entity is a player, in our case a pawn. This is a cool way to type match and get a variable out of it. We can now use the player variable. Let's just say the player's name in the console and put them back at the beginning. Now after saving and compiling, we'll have to run the game once just to make sure we can place it in our map. Let's just make a new map. I'll make a big flat plane. Move it down a bit. Get some light in it. And this guy. Now, as you can see, we have these fish bites, which is our project. And you can see that our trigger pops up. Select it, place it down, and it's going to make you place a solid. In our case, let's make this a giant block. And since this is invisible, Let's just put some signs around it. Save the map. I'll call it my test map. And do a fast compile. Now that we're in, you can see that the trigger is not doing anything. That is because by default, the starting player doesn't have any collisions. Let's just add them real quick. And remember to always have them as keyframed for our player. Save and reload the game. This isn't our test map. I forgot. You need to set the default test map in here. Game setup. This list only. We named it my test map. Save it, close it, reload the game. I don't know what was going on over there. Now we're in, but we can't actually move around. This is again the problem of the default player. Let's move over to our pawn. Look around, you can see the move helper. Let's add ignore his, so it's going to ignore itself and not collide with itself. Save. You can see we can move around, but it's still not doing anything. That is because if you move over to hammer, you can see that in our trigger, the activation tags are only player and the default project doesn't have it set so once we spawn let's just add the player tag save the code reload the game and now you can see we are finally colliding with our trigger and this is going to set us back to the beginning of the map very easy very simple